Hey everybody, what is going on? Josh right here back again with a new video and a brand new series. As you can see, we finally have MLB The Show 2023 and we are starting up our brand new franchise series. Now originally I was going to do a franchise mode with the Arizona Diamondbacks, but then I decided to kind of change it up and you know what? We should do an expansion team. Or uh, last year I did a, f a handful of these where it was uh, not for YouTube though where it was like I would bring back I, I would do expansion teams or you know I would do a uh, or bring back a or an old team and usually most people do the Washington or either like the Washington Senators or the Montreal Expos but today I decided to bring back the St. Louis Browns and for those of you who are wondering I turned the Browns into the Detroit Tigers and for those of you who are wondering yes I actually did do um, kind of like a 40 man draft like expansion draft just because I wanted I wanted new players I wanted kind of like a different team if that makes sense and um, I just I don't know it's just I thought it would be pretty cool usually I actually did this with my Expos team that I did last year where I would kind of um, go through or I would excuse me um, I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> I would it kind of like change the rosters and I would make kind of like my own team uh, so I got rid of pretty much anybody that was on the Tigers 40 man roster um and I pretty much just made my own team. I ended up bringing in new players um, from different teams. Um, all of them I made sure were actually lower uh, were 80 overall or lower than like an 80 overall. So that's why you can kind of see there's a bunch of like mid 70s players on here. It looks more like um. A diamond dynasty team that's full of silvers pretty much so kind of looking at the team here uh, at some of the guys that we ended up bringing over uh, as you can see kind of our two best players are Ty France from the Seattle Mariners and we also brought in David Peterson of the New York Mets now David Peterson um, uh, I'll actually go through uh, the different players once again so the starting pitchers we have are David Peterson from the New York Mets kind of somebody that I think can be good in the future um, he actually had a solid 2022 last year um, now in 2021 I know it was kind of uh, not, not his best year but it's okay because I, I think he can do pretty well over here in St. Louis with the St. Louis Browns and uh, you know what uh, he's a lefty, so that kind of gives him a little bit of value. Um, he he will most likely be our ace going into the 2023 regular season. Trevor Rogers is another guy, so it looks like it's going to be between these two. Um, I was actually originally going to get Sixto Sanchez, but I decided to go Trevor Rogers because I think he's a little bit younger than Sixto. If I'm if I'm wrong about that, please let me know. Um, but Trevor Rogers, he's again kind of like kind of like David Peterson. They're both um, left-handers. Um, can't go wrong with having too many lefties in your rotation. Tom Miguel, um, David Peterson's teammate, he's going to be coming over to the Browns. 27 years old, six foot seven, out of California. He looks like uh, we can try and make this man. We're going to turn that 5.13 ERA he had last year. We're going to change it, and you'll probably be kind of like in the fours, kind of like his 2021 ERA. Next guy we got is from the Pittsburgh Pirates. We ended up getting Mitch Keller. Uh, now, I see Mitch Keller quite a bit. As you can see, uh, I'm a Cardinals fan in real life, and so uh, obviously Cardinals Pirates play each other quite a bit. Obviously, same division. So I see Mitch Keller quite a bit, and I will admit he's. There are a handful of Pirates pitchers that are actually, uh, I, in my opinion, I think they're a little underrated. 
Um, the Pirates do have some decent pitchers. It's just the reason why nobody really looks at them is obviously they're not like top tier pitchers. I mean, they're not like Clayton Kershaw or Jacob deGrom or anything. But, I mean, keep in mind, I mean, they play for the Pirates, but just because they play for a bad team doesn't exactly mean they're great. Or it doesn't exactly mean they're terrible. You know what I mean? And then our number five guy going into the season will be Luis Gill from the Yankees. 24 years old out of the Dominican. I decided, you know what, let's give him a chance. We also brought in Bobby Miller from the Dodgers and then Kyle, Kyle Mueller of the uh, Oakland A's. And then also we also brought in Justin Dunn who is from the Reds. I decided, you know what, let's give him a shot. Our bullpen and is going to be Jose Alvarado, Zach Jackson, Tyler Steven from the Guardians, Joe Jimenez, we brought him back. He was originally a Detroit Tiger for many years. He actually signed, I believe, with the Braves. We decided, you know what, let's bring him back. Matt Brash coming in from the Seattle Mariners, 24 years old, big righty. Let's use him. Cody Hearer from the Cubs. Now, Cody Hearer is actually a guy that um, I believe... Can be. I, I think he's actually a pretty solid reliever. Um, I think he's a really good pitcher. Um, um, are you done? Yeah, but. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry about that. That was my uh, my grandmother. Um, but anyway, Cody here, Alex Reyes, and Tyler Alexander. He so these two will probably start the year in AAA. I know this guy will start the year in AAA. There we go. Um, so we don't really have a closer. We can probably draft one, or we can use Zabala here in the future. I don't know. Our catcher is Nick Fortes. Uh, from the Marlins. He looked like he was pretty decent. I decided, you know what, let's give him a chance. James McCann kind of just just brought him in. Uh, we'll have him for about two years. If he doesn't do good, we'll just flip him. And then Kibbert Ruiz and then Bo Naylor. Bo Naylor, he's just here for just, just another roster spot. Kind of the same thing with James McCann. Again, he's just here. I don't really plan on using him, obviously, for a long time. First base, we have Ty France, Bobby Dalbeck from the Red Sox, these two, and then we have Tyler Naveen. He was not somebody that I drafted, but he looks like he came over from uh, the Orioles, so good luck, man. Hopefully, you make the team. Bobby Dalbeck, um, I know Tristan Casas, he's looking like he'll be the starting first baseman going forward with um, the Red Sox, so Bobby Dalbeck. So, you know what? We can move him over here. And he can also play multiple positions, which is pretty cool. Ty France, he can also play second. He can play third. And not to mention, he's a good little power bat. I think he'll, hopefully his power numbers go up here uh, very soon. Uh, at second base, we brought in Hoss Young Kim. Not too sure if they're going to move him. I'm, uh, no, I'm, I actually like Hoss Young Kim a lot. I don't know what the Padres' plans are with him going forward now I don't know what they're planning on doing with Tatis but just in case Hoss Young Kim is going to be with the St. Louis Browns we also brought in Michael Bush from the Dodgers and Nick Gonzalez from the Pirates now at third base we have Jace Peterson from the Oakland A's he was actually one of the first few guys that I ended up um getting we also brought Nolan Jones, utility guy, Mark Vientos uh, from the Mets, and Carl Colson Montgomery, he's a prospect in the White Sox organization. We also brought in like a bunch of shortstops. Um, Eric Brown, he may be our shortstop going into the future. We also have Yu Chang, uh, who was amazing during the World Baseball Classic. I know he was also looking for war trying to fight for a roster spot in the big league level, you know what, he can probably fight one here with us. J.P. Crawford uh, from the Mariners. We also have Gavin Lux and Jorge Mateo, which, funny, um, I actually 
Uh, Jorge Mateo, what's he doing on the Tigers now? I thought he... Unless if we actually did bring him in. And I just don't remember. Uh, well, either way, we have Jorge Mateo. Cool. <laughs> we have Jorge Mateo. Alright, well, we brought in Ian Happ. Sam Haggerty in the outfield. Riley Green, I uh, just decided to keep him. Who knows, he could probably be the face of the franchise later on. Kyle Lewis, I know he recently just got traded to the Diamondbacks in real life. You know what? How I view it, if you want a fresh start, might as well just do it with a fresh start. Right? Get a fresh start with a fresh, brand new team. And so, yeah, that's kind of the team going forward. Uh, we're going to simulate to the last game of spring training. And then I will... Let's just sim through spring training. And so this episode, I'm not going to play any games just because uh, I actually have something to do after this. But um, we're just going to just kind of sit and kind of see, you know, what the, what the team's kind of looking like. So we're playing the Phillies. Uh, it doesn't really matter. David Peterson versus Matt Manning. So, just to see how is everybody doing so far. Ooh, Nick Cortez is not doing great. Also, this is not not a great lineup. Not a very good lineup. How about we do that? And then we go here. We go here. There. Boom. There we go. There's our, our lineup for today. Okay, Eric Brown needs to play it today, okay. apparently. Three. Looks like Jorge Mateo is going to start the game in right field. Okay, I guess, I guess so. Why not? So we got a one nothing lead, and Castellanos, as I say that, we blow the lead. It's three to one. Matt Manning, he was somebody we actually moved over to the Phillies for Jose Alvarado, and it looks like he's going to uh, continue pitching here in the fourth as we tie up the game, and Kyle Schwarber takes the lead. Base, ball okay. four. Three. Ball four. Got to go to the bullpen here soon, looks like. Um, let's see, pitching change, let's go with... Let's go with Matt Rashford. Okay, Matt. First base. okay, so far this is not looking like a good decision. As we do, as I say that, we get out of the inning. J.J. Ramuto makes it a, spot, a two run game. Alrighty. Uh, we probably need to take him out. Let's go with two Cody here to get out of the inning. Uh, we're going to pinch it for Cortez. We're going to bring in James McCann to kind of finish the game here. And are we going to tie up the game? Yes, sir. Game is tied. And we got ourselves a tied game. We got an 8-5 lead. Cody Hewer. Um, I'm going to take you out. I'm going to take in or bring in Alvarado. And then while we're at it, we can kind of go in and get the final three outs. So, yeah, just a heads up. This is kind of the only quote-unquote gameplay that we're going to get in the first episode. This is just kind of a... Um, this is just the, the beginning. This is just the first episode. Kind of like a uh, get to know the team a little bit. And the reason why I didn't record me kind of just going through the different... Uh, going through the roster and everything is just because I don't think you guys would really want to see that. And honestly, it, it took me quite a while. So, yeah, that's kind of a reason why I didn't really do that. I didn't really record me going through the rosters and everything. Okay, so Alvarado's still going here in the ninth. Nope, it's a three-run game. Nope, Let's see real quick if we can get oh, out of it. it. And th these are also the road jerseys going into the season. I know it's not quote-unquote, it may not be quote-unquote accurate, but I couldn't really find a good font for um, 
for I, I couldn't find a good like St. Louis font for um, this uh, for the jerseys, but O2 pitch and I get Schwarber to swing and or Garrett Stubbs strikes out on a cutter. He's hitting 182. Raphael Martin comes in, and you know what? I'm going to bring in some guys as well. Might as well. Mateo can come out, and I guess we'll bring in Tyler Nadine can play right field. We're also going to bring in a new shortstop. Eric Brown can come out. Gavin Lux can come in. I know I probably could have done that earlier, but... I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, Alvarado, here we go. Go on, make the catch. Hey, Ian Hap comes in with a slide. So last chance for the Phillies. Cody Clemens comes in. Down is 0-1. So so far this gameplay isn't like too bad. Oh crap. My apologies, I was in the middle of doing something. I look up and then all of a sudden we're we got a play going on. Alright, 0 2 count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and the Browns end up taking the win here against. the Phillies. That's going to do for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Are you excited about this Browns franchise? Are you excited about this new franchise series? Um, I don't know when the next episode is going to be. Probably for won't be for another couple weeks. But that's going to do for today. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.